head over to miniaturemarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices like Quirky Circuits. Quirky Circuits is a cooperative game for two to four players where you'll be using one of these four different robots and their corresponding deck to try to finish scenarios. And the game has 24 unique scenarios in this book that take only about 15 to 20 minutes to play each. For example, Gizmo the Cat's trying to run over all these dust bunnies, it's a vacuum, trying to pick it all up and get back to the charging station before the battery dies. And this is done cooperatively by players playing cards in any turn order, but they cannot communicate. And you can tell which cards go forward or backwards and which ones actually turn you. When you have at least five cards, you can resolve them all, like moving two, moving two more, turning around, moving one forward, and turning to the right. But with no communication, programming face down is tough and it feels like the mind. And each robot has their own scenarios and works differently, like Twirl will fly around and gain momentum. Rover will be picking up and delivering different things and jumping over things. And Lefty, the sushi chef, will be making sushi with both hands and delivering them, trying not to ruin any food. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Quirky Circuits has this great group thing, and you get better and better with the same group the more you play it. It has huge explosions and high fives, but, but there's also a lot of anticipation as you're flipping over the cards, trying to figure out what were people thinking and seeing what's gonna happen. Having those yellow cards are really cool as it changes what's going on, that players have to play those first. The different robots, the different scenarios, it's easily expandable. Even if you didn't like the mind, which is similar to, I really think you should give this one a shot because the whole programming aspect makes this a really full, complete game. I love this cooperative game. It got a saxophone serenade, which is staying in my gaming library. On the negative, I wish the distribution of yellow cards were sort of on the player aid. Uh, you'll need to sleeve the cards because of the amount of shuffling you're doing, they start to stick together. Uh, and if you don't like programming games, you're probably not going to like this one. But other than that, this game is fantastic. Check it out. Did you miss the Game Topper 2.0 Kickstarter? Have no fear, it's not too late to get in on the ultimate gaming accessory. Convert your table into a high quality gaming table with a fully portable Game Topper system and take advantage of some of the best 3mm premium gaming mats in the industry. New styles, new sizes, and new accessories can be yours. Upgrade every game you play by late backing now at GameToppersLLC.com.